sweating it out literally to get re-elected. Incumbent President Yaya Jame out on the campaign trail. Supporters, even those too young to vote, are out deep into the night waiting for a handshake. This is incumbent President Yaya Jame. It's approaching midnight. He's out here in the football field. And this is his second rally this night, shaking the hands of thousands of people across the football field. In 2011, he said that he was not campaigning. He was going on tour to talk to Gambians about what he had done for them. This time around, he is campaigning very, very frenetically. This contest is so close that the man who has ruled this country for 22 years is taking no chances. It is approaching 2 a.m. The opposition coalition candidate is also shaking hands. His supporters are oozing with confidence, giving the thumbs down to the incumbents. Change is their driving force. For them, Jame's years have been cosmetic. Quality and quantity is completely different. All those projects, they are political projects. You go to those schools, all the schools don't have chairs, no good teachers. You go to the hospital, don't have enough doctors, the quality is not there. Barrow is running because dozens of opposition leaders are in jail. Many locked up for demonstrating for political reform. The president has no regrets and vows they could be there for some time to come. They are in jail because they committed an offense. Being in the opposition doesn't make you, uh, doesn't give you any indemnity from criminal liability. I'm not, those people have been contesting for so long. But remember, they, they, they killed somebody before, and this year, knowing that they will not win, they, they embark on a campaign of violence. I will never pardon them. Whoever wins on Thursday, this excitement will be short lived healing the wounds that have festered here for decades and addressing the economic challenges will be a tall order.